Greetings Options Traders! In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how easy it is to generate consistent monthly income with options. The number one skill that's required is the ability to do very simple, basic arithmetic. Ideally, if we had the ability to predict the future direction of a stock, that would be even better. But unfortunately, none of us has a crystal ball and therefore none of us will ever be able to predict the future. And that's the reason my number one option strategy is to sell put options. Selling put options has the highest probability of success due to the notion of theta time decay. When you sell a put option, you get paid up front. And the only reason you're getting paid is because you are taking on the risk of something called assignment. Let's pause the video for a few seconds and review what assignment entails. Today is Thursday, July 8, 2021, and we are looking at the one-year daily chart for XBI, which is the biotech sector ETF. And what I can see here is that the ETF is very close to the oversold region of the slow stochastics and it is also approaching the oversold region of the RSI. So this is the ideal time to sell a put option because selling puts is a semi-bullish strategy. So what I'm hoping is going to happen is XBI is going to reverse and go back up. When I'm selling put options, I am basically betting that the underlying stock or ETF is going to stay above a certain price by a certain date. Right now, XBI is trading at around 131.67. So I'm going to bet that in the next 36 days, XBI is going to stay above 118, which is somewhere in this region where this line is. The previous low was around $100. Here's a picture of my opening trade on July 8, 2021. I sold one put option with a strike price of 118, an expiration date of August 13, and I received a credit of $1.17. This is the price per share. Each option contract controls 100 shares of the underlying stock or ETF. In this case, I sold one contract, so I received $117 up front. Because this is a net credit trade, my maximum profit at expiration is simply the original credit of $117. If I close my trade prior to expiration, my profit is going to be less than this amount. So again, XBI was trading at around $131 at the time that I placed this trade. Notice that I went all the way down to $118 for my strike price. In order for this trade to be 100% successful, XBI needs to stay above $118 by the expiration date. And according to the statistics, there's an 82% chance that's going to happen. So this trade has a pretty high probability of success. Because 118 is below the current price of XBI, by definition, this put option is out of the money. And I want it to stay out of the money the entire time. When I'm selling put options, I like to select expiration dates that are between 30 and 45 days out in the future. Today is Friday, August 13, 2021. 36 days have passed since I placed my opening trade. So you can see that XBI actually has not done much. The price today is actually about $5 lower than the price on July 8 when I placed my opening trade. So even though the stock dropped, I still managed to make a profit on the trade simply due to theta time decay. That means as long as my option was still out of the money, the premium or the price of my short put option dropped from $1.17 all the way down to one cent. 
today the stock is coming off of the overbought region and even though my option is set to expire later today i still decided to buy back my short put for one cent to remove the risk of assignment the time right now is only 6 50 a.m pacific time we still have many hours left until the closing bell and anything can happen at the beginning of this video i mentioned that the only skill required when selling put options is the ability to do some basic arithmetic so here's the math when i sold my put option on july 8 i received a credit of a dollar and 17 cents today august 13 i bought back my put for one cent here's the translation i received 117 dollars in cash on july 8 and today i had to give back one dollar so my profit on this trade is simply the difference between the opening credit and the closing debit that gives us a dollar and 16 cents multiply that by one contract and multiply that by 100 and that gives us 116 dollars so that is the profit on this trade in summary selling put options on your favorite stocks and etfs is a relatively simple way to generate consistent monthly income with options make sure you thoroughly understand the risk of assignment before trading with real money thank you for watching